Welcome students, we have witnessed huge flooding and flattening of villages in Kerala Swainad. Now, if you look at this scenario, we need to get into nitty gritties to understand why these floods are happening and most essentially, at least 14 years ago, we had a report about the fragility of the Western Ghats and why it is responsible for this present phenomena. So to understand this, let's today take the topic of analyzing the fragility of Western Ghats for which we would look into Madhav Gadgil's report and Kasturi Rangan's report as well. So that we can exactly have a scientific study and what would be the relevant part regarding this towards your examination. So if you look at the Western Ghats, when it's spanning to six states and all the six states have a kind of fragility due to its geographical origin and its slope itself is responsible for some eco-sensitivity. This eco-sensitivity needs to be analyzed and few activities are to be carried out according to the existing conditions rather than exploiting it and that is responsible to an extent but is it fair to completely ban all the activities is the dilemma that is being faced for which we need to understand in 2010 an ecologist by name Madhav Gadgil was bestowed with responsibility to come up with a proper analysis of this structure, which is Western Ghats. Of course, it's ecologically diverse, but to understand the ecological fragility and ecological sensitivity, Madhav Gadgil was given the job. He produced this report in 2011. Madhav Gadgil asked to classify 75% of Western Ghats as ecologically sensitive zones. I mean, he made it as three parts where ecologically sensitivity is, is classified into zone 1, 2, 3. So, there were graded responses and those responses were considered to be uh, considered as a restricting element to ensure there is sustainability and also ecologically they won't collapse as a structures. So let's analyze what are the activities that are advised to reduce if not to ban in Western Ghats as part of Madhav Gadgil's report. So the first one was mining and querying. Second one was construction of hydropower. Hydropower is through dams, right? So, these are major things. And the third one is again, the hilly areas are usually flattened to ensure the habitat is produced and the flattening this happens both anthropologically, which is human made and also naturally. So these are to be prevented according to Madhav Gadgil in ecologically sensitive zones 1, 2, 3, which correspond to 75% of Western Ghats. So there was huge cry and there was huge protest calling it its anti-farmer anti-primary sector because mining and querying and all those things were responsible for reducing the primary sector and the aiding factors of primary sector is what was mentioned here. But in reality, if you look at the report, it was not anti-former because he was mentioning to fragility 
and sensitivity differently. This fragility is about the geographical structure which may collapse and when it comes to sensitivity, it is about the game of sensitivity is not just about the geographical thing. It's all about the structure getting very hollow and unusable in future as well. To understand, suppose if you go for mining, the hollowness that is created inside, which is not replaced by anything else once you mine a mineral. So this mining makes the structure hollow. That is about the fragility. When it comes to sensitivity, if you reduce the forest cover, if you reduce a hilly structure into flattened structure, then the supporting structure may trigger a large landslide which happened in Kerala as well. And also due to hydropower dams, the huge tectonic activity that happens due to this is also responsible. So these factors were responsible. However, to neutralize that, government formed another committee to study this Madhav Gatil's report, which is Kasturi Rangan report, which was subsequently produced. And Kasturi Rangan has reduced that 75% to 250% of ecologically sensitive zone. And he didn't classify it as zone 1, 2 and 3. He made sure it is straightforward 50% with only one ecologically sensitive zone. Now, he considered 123 villages as part of this. At least, was this report implemented properly? The answer is again, no, obviously. Had that been implemented, it would not have been the scenario that we are facing today. It is hardly 37% or you can round it up to 38% that has been declared as ecologically sensitive zone. That too, with the recent activities of highways that, that are being laid through national parks and other hilly structures are triggering this. Hope you understood what measures could have been taken to prevent this. And if you are clear with this, let me ask you a question. In Western Ghats, which is being origin to most of the perennial rivers, will those rivers really impact these landslides? Is the water source responsible or altering the direction responsible? The answer is the altering. So, the altering the structure is responsible is what we could conclude with. For your mains examination, it would be very much important to know about this reports of Madhav Gadgil and Kasturi Rangan. So, if you want to attempt a question, you can write and post in comments or you could submit your answers. Analyze flooding phenomena in Western Ghats in light of Kasturi Rangan and Gadgil report. You can write this in 250 words and it, this, this can be a 15 marker question. So you can attempt this, hopeful that you gain some good information about this particular topic and analysis can give you a perspective building which can be helpful for your mains examination and also a few places where your prelims could be easier with this content. Another day I'll be back before you with better content. Till then, thank you.